Hello buddy, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm playing a Minecraft escape map This is escape the library and so this map was made by one of my viewers called B And so links to their socials will be in the description below if you want to check them out Also link to the map will be in the description as well if you want to play it yourself So we're in a very cramped space over here and I see a lot of books which is very normal for a library So let's just jump down, there's some water down there, let's see what this map is going to be Escape the Library, a 1.16 adventure map by Hat B Mo. Okay, so this is where we fell in and we have gold. So they think there's 51 gold blocks scattered throughout the library and we can see how many we can find. Let's see, there's a gold block here, but I don't know how to get them. We probably should read these books first though. So there's eight unique puzzles and it says how many endings, definitely just one. So I'm guessing that there are multiple endings. And there's lots of hours of gameplay, so it's probably not going to be finished in this very first video. So if you liked this video and this map, then leave a like and let me know in the comments down below if you continue with this with multiple parts. So we have a chest over here with lots of bottles and enchanting stuff. Then there's a book over here. Dear Treasure Hunter, welcome to Aparkifa. I definitely misread that. Your hunger for wealth has led you to read a cursed book which transported you to this strange library. The good news is that material wealth awaits. 64 blocks of the finest diamonds are yours for the taking. Furthermore, the blocks of solid gold hidden around this place are a delightful bonus for those willing to look where others don't. Unfortunately, Abrodola is full of challenges to test the limits of body and mind. Death will be certain, but you will soon learn that there are things much worse than death. Good luck. Okay. One player, uh, Adventure Mode 1.16.2. Yes. Limited block breaking and placing. Okay. Puzzle solving, use of game knowledge. And head BMO and play tested by all these beautiful people over here. Then we have another book over here. On best brewing practices. Never leave a brewing stand empty after brewing. After creating your desired potions, take the time to brew awkward potions in the now empty stand to save time. Keep your ingredients close. If you suddenly need to brew something, having your ingredients in your inventory or nearby ender chest will save you time. When preparing potions, arrange your ingredients in the order you plan to add them to save time. Okay, so I guess I need to brew potions and stuff. And there's also these blocks, but I don't have anything I can break them with. We're definitely in adventure mode, so we need a special sort of tool. There's a shortcut over here, which we can't take yet because we haven't gone there. This looks like a very intricate map, so let's see what's up here first. There's a button, multiple buttons actually. There's a command block behind there, you can see that. I can turn on these lights, which would be nice. Then you guys can see some stuff as well, there we go. So there's glass and there's a diamond block behind there as well. There's a button, which gives me... All kinds of stuff for brewing, okay. What else is up here? I can't go through these glass things just yet. What's in here? How to achieve goals. When struggling to achieve a big goal, it helps to break it down to smaller achievable goals. Don't be afraid to leap to new heights, for you may find the answer along the way. Okay, right. So we probably need a jump boost 2 potion over here to get up higher. We can also get more ingredients over here. Let's just get some of all of these ingredients. So I do think that I need a jump boost potion to, so I can jump up there. Let's turn on the lights as well. So let's see that's in here. Yes, rabbit's food. Okay, let's just grab all of this stuff. Why not? Now there comes the difficult job of knowing how to make a jump boost potion. But I think it's just rabbit's food. And then we can increase its strength by glowstone, I think. But we'll have to wait and see. I think I have to put some blaze powder in here as well. So it works for longer. So they, these should turn into jump boost potions. Yes. And then glowstone dust, I believe. Okay, so the first puzzle is probably just a potion brewing puzzle, I'm guessing. I still don't know how to get these gold blocks though. Well, we might find out later. Let's see what happens. We've almost got the glowstone in there. Please not make it. don't make it longer. Come on. Yes, jump boost too. Okay, we got it. Let's just grab the other two as well. And they said that I should already start brewing the next potions with some nether wart in there. Over here as well. And nether wart. Okay, awesome. Let's see if we can now get up there. Jump boost too. Let's drink it. Hey, look at that. We're up here now. Once again, more gold. Still don't know how to take it. There's another book over here. On the library from another world. Apocrya is the widely accepted name for the mythical otherworldly library where forgotten knowledge is kept. The library has been linked to thousands of missing person cases across millennia. Since none of the missing cases have returned to our world, there is little concrete information about Apocrya. Now to access it, let alone how to leave it. Okay, so we don't know a lot about this world. Is there anything else over here? Don't think so. Ah, 
there's this which leads down here and we have a oh what now we're just down here again and we also have a room over there but i don't know how to get in it because how do we get this gold am i missing something i feel like i'm missing a sort of tool to break the gold blocks there's definitely diamond blocks over there which is the thing we want right so we want to go down here but there's no way of getting there without removing the gold block. Wait, did I get this? On potion brewing, a bottle of water infused with nether water and a brewing stand powered with blaze powder will produce an awkward potion. All potion recipes originate from the awkward potion, such as the potion of leaping, which is rabbit's food. Okay, yeah. Redstone dust will extend the duration, glowstone dust enhances the effect. Gunpowder will make it a splash potion, right? Yes. Okay. Ah! Well, there it is! <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Let's see, treasure hunter's pickaxe, your trusty weapon against blocks of precious metals can break block of gold and block of diamond. Oh, there's also just potions in here. Okay, well, uh, I mean, that would have been nice. Let's just take all of them. Now we can finally get these blocks. Here we go. Got one gold block and it also adds it to the counter. That's nice. Let's get the other ones as well. I think there was one. Yeah, there was definitely one up here. Let's drink another potion and ooh, get up here. There it is, another gold block. Add it to the collection. So there's 51 in total. We've got a couple already. I don't think there were more. I mean, there's more behind the glass, but I don't know how to get behind the glass just yet. So, yeah, the other chest was just right here. If you go up there and walk over here, and there's another chest here. I think that's about it for this part. Let's go over here, break this gold block, see what's in here. Chapter 1 Freshly Brewed. Okay, so that was just the intro. Okay, there's a netherite pickaxe over here. Mm, I need to change my GUI a little bit. There we go, let's see, now we can read it. The key, used to break the strange terracotta blocks around Apocria. So we can break red glazed, white glazed and cyan glazed terracotta with this. Which I think might be below this chest. No, okay. That's this one, okay. The brewery stocks have expanded. Hey, okay, that's nice. I think that is what we want. There's another book over here. Dear Treasure Hunter, congratulations on getting past this first puzzle. You'll notice the treasure behind the vault in front of you. So close, yet so far. You'll need to find and break a yellow glazed terracotta to enter this vault, but that's easier said than done. Inside the chest is a key, a special tool. Use it to break any terracotta blocks you find, like the one on your left and the one above you. Keep every terracotta block you find, for they will be important for later. Two more challenges await you, best of luck. Sincerely, a friend. Okay, so there's another terracotta block somewhere above me, it says. I didn't expect this to be so big. Okay, uh, let's see. There's an ender chest here as well, so we can store stuff in there if we want to. We can climb up here, but I want to first go back to this part, because I think, yes, over here, we've got more items now. Let's just get some of these. There we go. And there's another gold block for which I need this tool, the treasure hunter's pickaxe. Okay, and there's just more potions in here. Okay, take some bottles and take some more potions, I guess. Why not? There we go. So we got more items here, that's nice. Let's see what's in here now then. So we can jump up here and go up here. And then there should be some more terracotta somewhere over here. Oh wow. So there's stuff behind these glass panes which I think we'll just unlock later. Ooh, this seems like a hiding spot but I don't see anything. There's slime blocks and there's the red terracotta over there. There's another book over here on magma cubes. Magma cubes drop magma cube, an essential ingredient to the creation of fire resistance potions. Okay. I mean, we already have some fire resistance potions, but that's nice to know. So let's break this red terracotta as well, which I don't know if that did anything. Oh wait, it broke that over there, so we can go over there now as well. We cannot go up yet. Did it just give me levitation? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's just if we complete that, so we can go over here now. Also the lava, I can go through the lava if I have fire resistance, which I do. Let's see. Fire resistance. Ooh, look at this! Oh wow, what's over here then? Carrot on a stick, magma cream. On fire, most mobs burn when exposed to fire. Burning mobs lose half a heart. Of health every second when on fire. Continue to burn for a certain amount of time, dependent on the length of time spent on fire. I mean, I know that. There's another potion over here, and even more awkward potions as well. And I guess there's a sort of parkour up here. There's another book over here as well. Look at this. On the nether temple, this unique structure was found behind a large lava fall in the nether waste. No traces of its previous inhabitants have been found. Alcoves in the upper levels contain books that appear to summon pigs and zombie piglins, as well as unusual rings of redstone-like substance. It is hypothesized that these rings are intended for ritual sacrifices involving the pigs. Okay, this is very scary. Let's get up here and see what this is all about. 
On pigs, pigs are the passive mobs found in the overworld. Like most overworld mobs, pigs are not fire resistant and will take damage from lava or fire. So, well, we can't really get there just yet, so we can't really do anything there. There's zombie piglins over there as well. There's lots to explore here. Let's see. So there's some information on the zombified piglins as well. Whoa! And one just spawned. Wait, but the glass isn't broken yet, so I can't really do anything there yet. Wait, does this also happen when I turn the page here? Yes! Ah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to do that. I definitely was not supposed to do that. I was supposed to do that. Aha, we can get out. There we go. We have a pig. I don't know why we need a pig, but we have a pig now. Let's bring it down. What can we do with a pig? I, I really have no idea. Okay, let's leave that guy there for now. And let's see what else is up here. There's a button and some terracotta. There's more terracotta behind there. And there's lots of redstone down there. I don't really know what to do with that. Or should I put a pig in there? Ooh, maybe. I don't know. I could also go in there using the pig. And I think there's another thing over here as well. Okay, wait, so there's the zombie piglin eggs over there, and over here we have just the normal pig eggs. So I think I need to go in here with a pig. Let's see if that's even possible. Here we go. They go very quick. Why do they go so quick? Oh no. Ooh. Very scary. Come on, come on. Oh no, oh no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. I should probably just remove the carrots from... On a stick from my hand, but the thing we're getting here. What's through here? <gasps> Whoa, there's a gold block. Let's get that. Awesome. Got it. And we can go over here. We need to get in there, right? I should probably splash this with fire resistance. Big as well. There we go. Okay. <gasps> we did it! Awesome! We got the pig in here and it did something at least. I don't know what, but we accomplished something. Okay, let's see. We can go back through here now. Let's just leave the pig there for now. <laughs> That's fine. I don't think we'll need it again. Let's see, what did we unlock with doing that? Wait, this wasn't unlocked, was it? Yeah, definitely not. Okay, we can break this. Let's do the broken one of the... Oh, okay. Um, yeah, it's on fire now. That's not very nice. Ah, this has now been broken as well. And the piglins can go up there now. But how do I attract the zombified pig? Hey, I probably need to hit it, right? I can't see anything. Let's just put on a resource pack. There we go. Now the fire is a bit lower. That's a bit better. So there's a piglin in here. And they're already going up here, which is nice. Oh, we did it already. They already went in there. Whoa. Oh. And I think this is exactly where I needed to go. Awesome. There's no light. Ah, the fire is gone. Okay, nice. We're making progress, we're definitely making pro progress. There's a crafting table over here as well. But what else did this do? Can the fire please go away? Oh, there's a gold block up there. How do we get up there though? Let's see, I don't think there's anything else left to do. Apart from getting that gold block, which would be nice. The fire is gone now as well, it's also very nice. Let's see, can I climb up here? No. Jump boost, of course. How could I forget? Jump boost, yes. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, two gold blocks even. Awesome. Okay, let's grab those as well. Already got seven gold blocks. That's awesome. And I think we've completed this part of the puzzle. Because, yeah, there's definitely nothing left to do over here. Awesome. Okay, let's go back through. I don't think there'll be anything down or up. No. Well, maybe some gold blocks. Let's see. Aha. Oh. Ah, this goes to over here. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely nothing else over here. Okay, let's just leave. And... Okay, that hasn't been opened yet. Hmm, so what's next? I can go over here as well. I think oh, don't think I've been over here just yet. Let's see. No, definitely not. Ah, the fire's gone again as well. Another ender chest, okay. And skeletons. There's some information on skeletons. It's awesome that they have like all these little bits of information on different kinds of mobs. Hitting a mob will cause it to chase you even without line of sight. Instant damage, right? Okay, there's some information on poison and other potions like that. Can I turn on this light? I don't think so. There's a button here. Ah, there goes the light. Wait, lights are turning on slowly, I think. Yes. 
Whoa! What? Ah, so we need to heal them using the these potions, I think. Right? Because undead mobs get healed by harming potions. Let's see. Uh, I have another one over here. Oh, that's a very long time. Oh, and fire resistance. No! Okay, I didn't know that. Uh, let's see. Fire resistance needs... So we need more harming potions. So let's brew some of those. We have some potions. Ah, but I don't have any blaze powder. That's frustrating. Let's grab some. I put it all in the potion brewing stands over here. Yeah, let's brew them over here. There, and there's multiple brewing stands over here. So we can use them at the same time. More spider eyes. There we go. So we should get poison potions. Then we can turn them into harming potions by adding fermented spider eyes. There we go. Fermented. Fermented, that sound when potions get brewed is like awesome. Oh, ah, this one needs blaze powder as well. Right. And then we add some glowstone at the end as well. To make it harming two. There we go, harming two. And fermented to this one. We also need to make it a splash potion. Okay, let's do that as well. Splash potion. And this one is still at the previous stage. There's a lot of brewing involved, which I think is nice, because, well, brewing isn't very used in Minecraft. It's a very underused game mechanic, I think. There we go, got the splash potions of harming there, got them there, and... Let's put the glazed terracotta stuff in our inner chest, and let's stack up some of these items. Grab the rest, another gunpowder to this one, so we have all of the harming potions, and we need also a fire resistance potion, let's just throw that on the skeleton first, and then use all of these harming potions and i don't know if we need anything else but i don't think so i think we should have enough harming potions now let's also take back some of this blaze powder so we can brew potions elsewhere as well there we go and let's go back to the skeleton here we are and let's hit it with fire resistance i think it got it yeah and now we'll just need to give it some harming potions when it takes a lot of damage it's doing very well at the moment, it's not moving at all. It has also a lot of armor, which is nice. Okay, fire resistance should be doing its work. Let's just give it a harming potion. It's taking damage. I think we did it. Yes, we did it. Okay, awesome. Let's see, there's a lever over here. Hey! We did it! That sounds like a very good noise. Okay, let's see what we did. I think this should be open. No, that's not open. Oh, it's open! Okay, there we go. Ascend! Okay, so we can ascend up there now. And I think we finished everything over here. Awesome, let's see what is up here. Let's ascend! That's awesome. Chapter 2, Light and Darkness. Okay, but we'll do Chapter 2 in a future video because... It took way too long to fit it into one video or it would be over 40 minutes long which I think would be a bit too long for a single video. So I'm stopping it here. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel. Also check out the map creator and the map itself. Links to those will be in the description below. But there we go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you in the next one. So until then, bye bye. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh.